You need to stop fighting while you're still trapped in your past. Doing something like this won't bring anyone back. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for Chronicles in Collecting, where we are going to open up the Metal Robot Spirits Infinite Justice Gundam from the anime Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny. Gundam Seed Destiny ran for 50 episodes and an original video animation from 2004 to 2005 and was later compiled into four anime movies. This figure came out in September 2018 and was a P Bandai exclusive retailing for about $115 US. Let's see how it compares to the regular Justice. So the Metal Robot Spirits Justice came out and I just did my unboxing of it this week and it was a figure I actually really liked but I thought it might be interesting to kind of compare it to the Infinite Justice that came out um, I don't know a year or so ago maybe two years ago now and uh, just kind of see if it's worth getting the Justice if you already have the Infinite Justice and going back and getting the Infinite Justice if you have the Justice so let to take a quick quick take a quick look at this I happen to have it laying around waiting to get open so let's uh, let's dive into it. So in case you didn't know and couldn't tell from the names, the Infinite Justice is the updated version, upgraded version of the Justice that Arthron pilots in Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny. Start to take a look at this uh, figure here. So I think, you know, initially, again, really nice figure, really nice feel to it. Um, probably feels about as nice as the Justice. Color is a little different. I'll, I'll show a comparison later on, but this is definitely a brighter uh, red versus kind of the maroon of the regular Justice. But yeah, another another really great figure um, in the Metal Robot Spirits line. Let's put this on the side here and take a look at the uh, weapons. So we got the, got the pack here. So this one's definitely different, you know, significantly different than the one uh, that comes with the Justice. And then you get some other things. Uh, you get the double lightsaber, uh, double lightsaber, <laughs> double, uh, ah, double sword. You got the single one as well. You got some cool effects parts. I think that this over here is really is really nice. Um, got some guns. Nothing super special here. This thing, I don't know what it is. It's some sort of like hook contraption. This thing is super cool. Hopefully we find a way to use that. Uh, got some other beams over here that are nice. Got all the hands that you would ever want. And uh, also have the shield. And this shield is definitely nowhere as cool as the one that comes with the Justice. You got the custom base. You got this cool like energy shield thing and a few more effect parts. So I'm gonna pose this real quickly. And uh, I'll be back in a few minutes with a closer comparison and some final thoughts. And we are back, so let's get this guy on the rotating stand and kind of give some thoughts. There we go. Um, so yeah, I, th I really like this figure as well, you know, I I'll show them right next to each other in a second, but it's very similar to the Justice. Obviously it's a brighter red versus the maroon. Uh, the Fat Tomb is the Fat Tomb 1 versus the Fat Tomb um, 0, that's the glider thing, so those look completely different. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, they're they're pretty similar figures. You know, there's so many cool poses that you can do with both. Obviously, this one I have kind of riding the, the glider versus having it, you know, kind of docked inside of it. And this one also has, like, a cool shield. And I think it has cooler effect parts. All in all, I'd actually say that the Infinite Justice is probably my favorite of the two figures just because of more weapons and more accessories. That being said, I thought I'd just kind of put these right next to each other and kind of get an idea of, of what they look like together. Um, you know, as you can see, the bodies themselves are, are pretty similar, other than the color. Um, many of the weapons are the same. I think that the regular Justice has a much cooler shield that has that kind of gold part to it. And I, personally, I like the Fat Tomb Zero over the Fat Tomb One. I just, you know, it's a little bulkier, obviously. 
but I just think it kind of looks a lot cooler. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'd obviously leave the decision as to whether or not, you know, you need to own both of these uh, to each individual person. Personally, I'm glad I have both. I think they both look, um, you know, the color scheme makes them look a little different, and I think there's just so many cool poses that you could do with them that, uh, you know, having two doesn't really seem like a waste. You know, you could have it docked, you could have it riding on top. Actually, with the Infinite Justice, you, it has, like, handles, so it could, like, kind of hold it on top like a, like a hang glider. Um, you could have it as the backpack, so lots of cool stuff that you could do. Anyway, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate a like or subscribe, and if you didn't, tell me about it in the comments. Uh, if there's anything you want to see, either about these two figures or anything else, tell me about it in the comments, and I'll, you know, see what I could do. I do figure reviews on Wednesdays, and those are typically newer figures from the last few weeks or last few months, and then I've been doing uh, older figure reviews on Fridays, usually two or three times a month. And please join me for next Wednesday's video, where we're going to take a look at the Soul of Chagogan GX100 Guy King.